So in this video, I want to look at converting between Cartesian and polar coordinates. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. OK, so let's say this is our point. Here's our pole. This is our initial line. Here is R and here is theta. So the Cartesian equation, uh, sorry, the Cartesian coordinates would be x along and y up. OK, so this point has either Cartesian coordinates x, y or polar coordinates r, theta. OK, so what we could then write is, OK, well, x, this distance x here uh, can be written using trigonometry as the adjacent side of this right angle triangle. And so that would be R cosine theta. OK, so that's coming from uh, this being the adjacent, this being the hypotenuse. So we know that cosine of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And so X is equal to R cosine theta. And in just the same way, this height of the right angle triangle is the opposite side. So y is equal to r sine theta. OK, so what that allows us to do is then say, OK, well, if uh, we have our r and we have our theta, we can substitute those in here and here to get our x and y coordinates. So let's say, for example, we have the point uh, 2 pi over 4. OK, so then in general, we would be able to uh, do 2 times cosine of pi over 4 and get your first point, which is root 2. And then we would put in 2 sine of pi over 4 which should be root 2 as well. OK, so the polar coordinates 2 pi over 4, the Cartesian form root 2, root 2. OK, now if you've got your x and your y, then r here is clearly the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So r is going to be equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. And theta, well, tan of theta is equal to the opposite y over the adjacent x. So tan of theta is equal to y of x. So theta must be equal to the inverse tan of y over x. OK, so given a set of coordinates, so let's say uh, 2, 3, for example, then I can substitute x is 2, y is 3 into this. So square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared gets me root 13. And the inverse tan of 3 over 2 is to three significant figures, 0 0.983. OK. So this is how we can convert from Cartesian to polar and vice versa. Now, um, of course, you've got to be a little bit careful um, with this and making sure that you are um, getting the right point. Um, now, I would always recommend um, drawing a little sketch so you can visualize where the point is so that you can mentally confirm uh, whether this is right or not in either form. Um, the worst thing would be that you make a silly mistake by substituting your points in getting the wrong Cartesian form um, when a little sketch could have confirmed to you whether it is correct or not. 
okay, whether it's in the correct quadrant. It's really to t determine, are you in the correct quadrant? And that will enable you to check that your answer's right, okay? So top tip, draw a sketch.